So Capcom have ordered the cancellation of the Resident Evil 1 and Code Veronica Unity remakes by Brinscroft. What is up guys, it's Andy here from Biohazard Classified, and let's enter the survival horror and find out what's going on. Biohazard. So to bring everybody up to speed, Resident Evil 1 and Code Veronica are being remade for the Unity engine by developers Brinscroft. It's an extremely ambitious project and it aims to bring Code Veronica into an over-the-shoulder third-person shooter and bring many of the remake elements to the classic survival horror game. And the same can be said for the Resident Evil 1 remake, which attempts to bring elements of the S.D. Perry novel into the remake universe. Now, speaking on their official Discord, Brin says, unfortunately, Capcom have contacted us and are cancelling our projects. The truth is there's no mood at all. And we're very sorry to tell you that they've cancelled it out of pure evil, since there are no signs that an official Code Veronica is coming from them. And there are elements that, that are true. If we go back to 2018, Invader Games were creating a Resident Evil 2 remake, and they were contacted by Capcom because they were also working on a Resident Evil 2 remake. However, Capcom were very kind to credit Invader Games and even flew them out to see them in person. And we do know after that, Invader Games then created their own Resident Evil inspired game, Daymare 1998 and Daymare 1994 Sandcastle. Now you can draw parallels between both projects and say maybe Capcom are working on their own Resident Evil 1 or Code Veronica remake on the RE engine. However, upon research, I found some additional information which adds a bit more context to why I think Capcom have canceled this project. Now, looking at the end of the Resident Evil Code Veronica trailer, it says, if you want to support this project, remember you can do it through Ko-fi or PayPal. You would help us a lot by sharing the links. And I think there lies the issue. It appears, whether intentional or unintentional, Brinscroft are trying to profit from an existing IP that they do not own. As with any fan remake or fan project, that is the ultimate trade-off. You can make it to your heart's content, and Capcom over the years have been extremely lenient when you've got projects like During the Storm, Revisited, Containment, Capcom have been very liberal on how gamers can use their license and create their own fan modifications. However, they do draw the line at profiting yourself. However, Brinscroft have commented back and said, this actually isn't the case, this is misinformation. And on their official Discord, they released a following statement. There's been a lot of misinformation regarding the cancellation. I'm here to tell you that I'm here to tell you what happened and the reasons for the cancellation. Two different Capcom officers were contacted. The first one very kindly asked us questions. They all pointed to the same 3D models and animations. They wanted to know information from where we had gotten the models and animations. After a couple of emails asking about it, they decided to cancel us very kindly until then without problems. We then received another email from another department of Capcom demanding we cancel the project again and that we immediately delete the web page. In this email, they were no longer kind and began to recite the laws of the United States, as if we cared. And in short, they told us that we could not use the name of Resident Evil because it had copyright and using the company models and animations put the company in danger, etc. P.S. There seems to be no official Code Veronica in sight. Sorry, and at this time, there was no invitation to the studio. And again, this is in reference to the Invader Games remake where the team were actually invited to the Capcom offices and were credited in Resident Evil 2 Remake. But again, I preach, is this a case of a fan developer having their cake and eating it here? You can't use another IP and then expect to profit off it. I think Capcom 100% in the right in this regard. However, if Capcom were being like Nintendo and taking down fan projects left, right and centre, I think that's very, very unfair. Now it goes without saying, a lot of effort did get put into these modifications and they were extremely impressive. So a pat on the back for Brinscroft for putting the effort they did in to further expand the story of Resident Evil and Resident Evil Co. Veronica. And not that I would be providing legal advice, but if I were Brinscroft, I would use what they've learned on these Unity projects and maybe develop their own survival horror games. It's clear that they are very, very talented in what they've achieved, and I think it would be a shame if it all went to waste. Now, we have reached out to Brinscroft to get their side of the story, and at the time of the creation of this video, they haven't taken us up on the offer. And I would love to sit down and speak with them and really understand what they were thinking when they created both of these titles and what they intend to do moving forward with both projects. Is that the end of both remakes 
or are they going to funnel all of their resources and create a brand new survival horror game? Which again, I think would be the best case scenario in this situation. So what do you guys think? Were Capcom justified in cancelling both of these projects? I've been Andy, this has been Biohazard to Classified, and we'll see you in the next one.